watch another video. I got this hair from Uper Mall on Amazon. This is another Amazon wig. So this one is a closure. As you can see, I didn't bleach the knots to get it. That's just the ring light reflecting off of it. But in person, it's still like the knots are still black. Um, it's a 4x4 four four closure. This is 12 inches of hair. So far, I didn't wash it or anything yet. But the quality, it feels good. Like I said, it always feels good before you wet it. So hopefully when I wet it, it doesn't tangle. So what I'm going to do instead... I'm going to bleach the knots, and it's not shutting so far, like, I'm running my fingers through it, nothing is coming out, so that's a good sign. This will be my first closure wig. I usually wear frontals, but I'm trying out a closure. I already know, like, in order for me to wear a closure, I already know I really, will really have to style it versus a frontal, when all I can do is, like, the baby hairs and curly if I want but this one I really feel like I need the style because I just don't like middle parts and straight hair on me so and I got this wig the styrofoam one from like my local hair store this is what the inside of the wig looks like so I'm gonna bleach all the knots like right here I don't even have that much bleach left but it should be enough to cover this little bit and then the back it has the you um logo thing it's pretty thick that's why I said I'm gonna cut some layers. Like it's pretty, it's a pretty even cut as well. If you can see, the bleacher you always want to turn the wig inside out. But first, what you want to do is to make sure none of the hair gets into the bleach. You want to spray it and comb it back with whatever spray you got. So I'm gonna use the Gatsby spray. And I'm gonna just spray the um the front of it. So I don't get any bleach on it. So I'm gonna be back when I when I'm starting to bleach them out. Okay, y'all. So this is the wig. What I'm using is the Clairol 30 Developer and this bleach. I'm using it when I wash it. Um, this is the mixing bowl. After putting the bleach on and it's time to wash it out, you want to use the purple conditioner. And then I'm gonna wash the wig with these two. This is gonna be my first time trying these two, so I don't know if they're gonna be good, but I bought it anyways. So I can't really show y'all the mixture, but you want it to be the consistency of toothpaste. So that's what I'm gonna achieve right now. And always when you're working with chemicals, wear some gloves. So you want it around this consistency. You see, it looks like toothpaste, it's not falling off. Yeah. So now I'm just going to apply it to the wig and I'm going to apply some foil and sit it down on there and let it sit for like 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, it's 224. As you can see, it, um, so bleach um expands. That's how you know it's working. So it looks pretty, look pretty good to me. I think I'm going to go wash it right now. So only use the purple shampoo on the lace part and then use the other shampoo you know, on the hair. So I'll be back. So I'm going to cut the layers now. Um, I was going to show you guys how I was going to do it, but my tripod literally just broke and literally just dropped my brand new phone. My phone was good, but... So now... but I really don't even know how I'm going to show y'all because literally... Is broken so but this is how it looks at that bleach the knots it still look black but again I'm not doing that again I left it on for 15 minutes so now yeah I'm about to cut so I just finished the layers here we go let me show y'all I didn't cut, like I said, I didn't cut that much off. I cut off, like, probably less than even an inch. I didn't really, and I didn't do face framing layers because I'm, I plan on cutting big, bigs. <laughs> I plan on cutting bangs after I installed this style one day. Not exactly after, but you know one day. 
So I still wanted to leave the front pieces long enough for me to work with. You can never add hair back. You can only take it away. Now I'm gonna blow dry it and then I'm gonna flat iron it and feather it. And the flat iron will be at four, no, 340. And I'm letting it heat up over there, so yeah. So this is how we look it so far. My flat iron just turned off. When it gets too hot, it turns off automatically. So I had to turn it back on. But ugh, I'm already tired. All right, so this is where we at so far. I know y'all like, uh, why do we look like that? But trust the process. Okay, so I just finished on the flat iron. Obviously, like I said, the layers. Oh, let me take this clip out. Yeah, this is a 360. Trying to hit. Yeah. Cute, right? How long you been doing here? Yeah. But I really wanted like a feather look. I didn't comb it out yet. Obviously, I still need the hot comb on top. I didn't even plug in my hot comb. I forgot all about it. I should have been did that so it would be hot enough. But that's what I'm going to do now. So I finished curling it and I did the flat iron part right up here. I mean, you know what I mean. I can't even show y'all a whole 360. But look at the volume. Look at the layers. Y'all see that? And now it's time to install. And like I said before, my um my th the thing the part that hold my camera broke on my tripod, so the angle is about to be so ugly. So don't be mad, but whatever. So the wig's finally done. Sorry, I'm gonna be a lot. So I still have the same braid on from my other video. So I don't plan on, like I said before, I'm not doing the bald cap because I just do not feel like it. And there's no point. In the same makeup I used before, the Ruby Kisses. 15 and the darkest one in the palette just put it down the middle not even white it's a little damp on the inside and i'm gonna just go in there with this yeah so I can see the leaves. I was, I'm not using glue. I'm using this, this one, the even black bond spray for leases. Got my rat tail comb. This piece off first. It's been more than 15 minutes. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been. It hasn't been an hour, I know that. It shouldn't have been, but. Now I'm gonna take this apart. I'm gonna look at it. Lace reveal. Oh, this stuck to it. Why is this story? Okay, let's just start in there. I'm gonna spray it again. Where did my um spray go? I'll cut off like a lot. Okay guys, so I don't know how long it's been, but my ears are starting to hurt, so it's been long enough. Okay, that's as good as we're going to go, because I'm not, it's already 9 o'clock. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Okay. 
So these ones are cur comb backwards so it falls and frames my face. Like this. I could have moved it down some more, the lace. Well, wow. Well. But this is the final look. Um, I can't even give y'all 360, but this is how it looks. Um, I would retouch up the front curls or the front feathers, but I just can't be bothered. So this is the final look. I would give this hair. I would actually give this. I would give this one a 10 out of 10. It literally has not been shedding at all, at all. Like, it shed it a little bit in the sink, and by a little bit, I mean I saw, like, three single-strand hairs. So, I would definitely recommend this to you guys. If you like closure wigs, you need to get this wig. It only goes up to 12 inches, though, so that's the most you're going to get. But I would, I guess, I'm not sure about their other wigs, but I would try from that, from the company because you never know. So yeah, this this wig is a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give this wig five stars on Amazon because yeah. It's just me personally, I don't like closures. That's the only downfall, but I can't take it against it because that's what it is. And I already knew what it was when I got it. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section also check out my other video um my other wig video like i only do frontal wigs but this one is cute this one i would like i said i planned on cutting bangs because look at my forehead <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye, -bye. Yeah.